celebrate people living in their authentic selves, we can sometimes find that as a threat. There is nobody and there will never be anyone like Minari Bia. Where you gonna get all of that? <laughs> this is not my thing. Love these. I have them in several colors already. They can't be that authentic and they wouldn't. Alexa, stop the music. Good morning, welcome to this week's vlog. I, I realize that I haven't been doing that. I haven't been introing. There's still some things, vlog etiquette, I guess I don't really know or I don't do. Okay, I'm waiting on hold with Bank of America. I need to do some account stuff. My hair looks like my hair, nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting my hair braided next week for my trip. My suitcase is right there on the floor. This week, I'm gonna show you what I'm packing. I already have my stuff set out, so it's just a matter of putting them inside the suitcase. I did my nails last night, <laughs> so I feel a little bit bon -quee -quee today, but honestly, I think these are like so cute. The I love them. I think I might cut them down, but I don't know. I'm gonna see how long I can go with them until I cut them down. All right, I've done my devotion this morning. You saw that. I'm doing the Elijah Bible study with my Bible study group we meet on Wednesdays and the stuff is so meaty you can't just brush through and read it you have to go and research you have to go and look up scripture and write down your interpretation of it and write down keywords and stuff so it is a really in-depth Bible study that I cannot just skirt through so it takes a long time to get through it so I did some of that today I still have more that I have to do I need to work out but I also don't kind of feel like it I, I never feel like it and I need to call the bank so I'm doing that right now and then I will work out I have a Sephora squad meeting later I haven't told you here but I told you on Instagram that I'm continuing on now as a launch partner for Sephora squad so I am very very happy blessed excited about that I'm gonna place you on a brief hold because I just need clearance in order to do that. So hold on one second, dear. Okay. Blessed Redeemer, you are this captive free. Oh, I can't help but see. Faithful, you are. Hey, faithful forever you will be faithful you are all your promises are yes and amen and I, I probably should have told you this before I put you on hold but when I'm on hold I can hear you and you have the loveliest voice oh <laughs> She heard me the whole time. What? All I heard was ATM. In one minute. Why is this in Spanish? Excuse me. Okay. All I know is okay. I don't know why that's in Spanish. I don't I don't understand what just happened. I'm about to take my vitamins for today. Here we have my immune booster. This is my uh, acid reducer, allergy pill, probiotic, and my Ollie hair vitamin. Yo, this bank haul, it's already been two and a half hours. Oh. This is the probiotic that I linked in my last vlog. I like it because probiotics are really important for your gut health, and this is a weight management one, so 
it really does make me feel full. So here's an option for you if you don't already take a probiotic. And the immunity defense supplements that I'm taking are right here because you know with COVID, you wanna make sure your immune system is built up because honey child, if you ever get that vid, you wanna make sure your immune system is just beefed up. All right, I showered and I just threw some of my, see, I don't like it. Look at the frizz. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. What's it called? I gotta show it to you. It's a, it's a different edge control that I'm using in the bathroom. It was in my Dollar Jenna roll beauty box it is not it doesn't hold it looks like it holds for a second and then the hair starts to lift up so right now I'm taking the 24 hour edge control edge tamer I was gonna do my got to be which does not lift up but I don't have time to let it dry so I needed to do one of these products that just works right now but it's not waterproof shoot I'll show it to you. I don't like what it was just doing to me. I, I mean, if I'm gonna lay my edges, I want them laid. I don't want them laid and then curly. What's the point of laying them, right? If I wanted it to be curly, I would have left it alone. Okay, 24 hour edge control in extra, is this extra strength? I don't know. And as you can see, I cut my nails down. <laughs> I just wanted to be free, man. I just wanted to be free, so I cut them down. Headband wig up in a bun, and that just is what it is right now. Headed to go get any from school because we have soccer practice, and yo, yeah, I'm gonna pick up my pizza because my pizza is so good. <laughs> we'll talk tomorrow. Hello, I'm Gwen. Today is Wednesday. I guess I took yesterday off. That wasn't even intentional, but you know what? I needed it, okay. I just finished filming this look. My lights are still on because I'm downloading my clips to my computer. I don't leave my clips on the memory card, although I know that some people do that. They record one video per card. I don't do all that. I'm not about to be taking the card out of the camera. That's just too much. So I'm downloading the clips to my computer with EOS Utility and then I put it into a folder and then I label it so I know what video is what. Okay, so this look is for IGTV. You need to be following me on there so you can see this video, okay? Additionally, I am just really feeling myself today. I used my spray bottle to wet my hair. I don't know what, I'm putting this wig on without wetting it and then today I was like, let me wet it and I actually really enjoy it wet. That is my shop app alerting me that my packages are either being, they've already been, they've been shipped or they're out for delivery. I don't know if you use that app or not, I enjoy it. Shop it's blue like a violet color and it gives you alerts on your phone when your item is out for delivery has been shipped like just it's just good okay today is the day that I'm going to pack my stuff in my suitcase I've already laid everything out everything from my hand luggage and my purse is here everything from my suitcase is here it's just really all over the place right now I'm actually gonna put the items in the suitcase today <sighs> oh it's not up yet I wanted to tell you about a certain product but first impression video of that product won't be up by the time this is up so i don't want to spoil it i'm not going to tell you okay i am headed to sephora today i ordered some things from sephora that are on their way my shop app told me that it is the fenty skin tint something or other and then i got the fenty blotting powder i also got I don't know, two other things, I think. So that's on its way today. Very excited about that. Oh, I forgot to use these today. The Beauty Blender powders. I forgot. They were sitting right here. I forgot. Okay. Wonderful. Oh, why is this here? Shoot. I forgot about this too. Okay. I, there's so many things that I need to use. Oh, I wanted to play for you this message that I sent my girl and we were, cause we were talking about something. I wanted to play you my response to her because it's something that you should hear too. We, we know we love to have deep conversations, girl talk, but it's usually very therapeutic. I don't know if you have friends like that, but if you don't have friends like that, you need to find friends like that. The times of like, oh, let's just on the phone and gossip about who and who, that's a waste of time. I don't know in 2021 if you're still doing that, but if you are, I encourage you to have more fruitful edifying conversations we use marco polo i had sent her a message about something we were, we were discussing and i wanted to play it just as a as an encouragement to you so just listen up yeah because you know what many of us will have an issue with something that we actually struggle to attain and actually want to attain so it's like the people who have an issue with certain people wearing certain types of clothing perhaps deep down inside the issue stems from a deep desire to wear such clothing but an inability or in a lack of confidence to wear that clothing so then that turns into some sort of envy or distaste for that clothing and for that person wearing that clothing. I do feel that that does lend itself to perhaps this conversation where some people might have been turned off by your authenticity because it, yeah, they felt like they can't be that authentic and they wish that they could. It's very unfortunate that rather than to celebrate people living in their authentic 
themselves, we can sometimes find that as a threat or find that as being off-putting as opposed to, oh, she's just being hurt. That has nothing to do with me. Let her, let her be her and let me just stay in my own lane. But of course, that, that whole thought does take a certain level of self-awareness that not everyone has. It's a journey to go on to self-awareness. It's a journey to understand who we are as women and what we offer and being unapologetic about that. So people are at different levels of this self-awareness or lack thereof. And as a result, it's just really important to me to be like, I'm aware of myself. I'm aware of who I am. I'm aware of what makes me different. I'm aware of what attracts people to me. And I'm aware of my gifts and my talents. And I will not and will never allow anyone to put a shadow or a cloak over me in order to what's the word stifle suffocate who I actually am because I believe that 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 authentic self that authenticity is going to touch people that perhaps someone else may not be able to the way that I am authentic touches people's lives because they can relate to who I am it's different with these Ghanaians and stuff but that authenticity is very very important that is what will make all of us separate from each other that's what makes all of us separate from each other yeah so I want you to comment below any thoughts to what I said if you just any thoughts at all to what I said because what we were talking about was comparison and I understand that it's very easy to be compared to other people for instance in the beauty community the lifestyle community as a black woman woman as a black makeup artist it's easy to say oh you remind me or black youtuber you remind me of so and so you remind me of so and so and that's fine i'm never i'm never turned off or off put by that or insulted by that i do understand and recognize that for some people that might be a pain point for them that they don't want to continue to be compared to other people and oh, and so that's what we're talking about right there where it's like listen no matter how many black youtubers there are out there no money no matter how many black makeup artists or influencers or content creators or what have you are out there there is nobody and there will never be anyone like minati yeah, that's a fact. Why is that? Because I'm the only Minna Dubia doing this. You know what I'm saying? I am the only one who can speak how I speak. I am the only one who can create content how I create content. I am the only one who looks literally like me. You get it? So I'm never, ever threatened by anyone else who is doing what I do. There's room for every single person, including you. And I always tell my audience that there's literally room for all of us. Everyone should come join. Everyone, everyone should come from left and right. Only the strong will survive. Only the ones who are capable will survive. Only the ones who are determined enough that have the self-initiative to go forward on their own and work by themselves, for themselves, will be able to survive. If you have the purpose to do what I'm doing, you will survive. That purpose is what gets me up in the morning at 4 a.m. That purpose is what gets me to film when I don't feel like it. That purpose is what drives me to be doing all this stuff because it's a lot of work. And I've, I've explained that and I want to continue to say it because it's a lot of work, okay? It's a lot of work, but that purpose is what drives me. So we were talking about that comparison because my main thing is this. There's no one that I compare to there's no one that compares to me and I say that with all humility okay but with all confidence in who I am in Jesus there's no one like me there is no competition there literally is no competition because I'm in my own lane I do my own thing and I do it very well that's just the fact so if you have that confidence in you and that boldness and that courage and that assurance from God in you there is nobody that can take you off of that there is nobody that can deter you there is nobody that can that can lead you astray there's nothing that can distract you from what you're doing because one you know your purpose two you know who you are and three you know what to do and how to do it it don't matter what anybody is doing it don't matter how many other black content creators there are you are the only one like you okay boom where you gonna get hood professional well-spoken ebonics chi uh <laughs> comedy you know like where you gonna get all of that i don't get it there is nobody else like me and I know that. That confidence is deafening, that confidence is blinding, that confidence is a high, it's a natural high. So if you know who you are, there's nothing that you need to be intimidated by. But that knowing of who you are is rooted in Jesus. That is the root of it. If the root of you knowing who you are is in you, honey, <laughs> We're human. I have, to, I have to keep checking myself all day about my thoughts, about what I'm doing, about staying on track, about X, Y, and Z. But God is God alone and God is always the same. We the ones who, we the ones who are crazy. You understand what I'm saying? Listen. 
that, you know, even if one day I feel like, dang, man, you know, so-and-so's content is better or dang, they're so creative, man, why can't I? I see that as encouragement. I see that as inspiration. I don't even allow the root of being less than to seep through. And see how I said allow, because it doesn't mean that I don't feel it right i'm human like come on but it's the allowing that we do have control over so the minute you realize like yo dang man i wish i was like i wish i could do like i wish i like knowing yourself and knowing god should be able to really help you snap out of that mindset and say wait a minute in my own right i know how to do x y and z in my own right i am this in my own right i'm also that here are my strengths let me tap into that unapologetically that's why unapologetically i worship jesus and I listen to 90s 2000 dance hall. You never know what you're gonna get in, this, in the next second. You see what I'm saying? You don't even know what it's gonna be. You don't know what you don't you don't know what direction we're going in. The fun part about it, I just feel like everyone should be themselves. I got it. I get it. Many of us deal with a lot of different different kinds of insecurity, but I encourage, I encourage, and I impart into you to really live in your truth and be authentic at any cost. At any cost. I'm so over being controlled and manipulated and suppressed by people who are not comfortable with my authentic. Self. If you're not comfortable with my authentic self, then you're the problem, not me. That's why we all have options about who we keep in our lives and who we dispose of. Dispose of me. I keep a tight circle anyway. I'm an introvert. Contrary to popular belief, I actually am. Contrary to popular belief, I know. <laughs> I, know. I don't want to be in big groups, you know? Like, <laughs> this is not my thing. I'm actually okay, you know, being a loner, you know, to some degree, you know? Do you see how you're getting so many different per layers of personality just in this one conversation? <laughs> I mean, again, there is and never will be anyone like Minna Dubia. I want you to have that same confidence because there is and will never be anyone like you. Insert name here. I'm done with my TED talk. Alrighty, ladies, here is my suitcase. This is not the most beautiful version of it. I've yet to put everything in a nice way, okay? So let's go through this. Now, we've got my toiletry bag. And in this toiletry bag, I like I, like you already know from my IG post, if not, you should just know that I keep things in here. So my suitcase is normally maybe 60, 70, if not 80% packed. And then all I have to do when I'm going somewhere is put in my clothing. This is my toiletry bag, as you can see and I keep a lot of products already in here my toothpaste my toothbrushes floss I have some laundry detergent but I actually packed some more because I don't like to take a lot of things and I also don't like to travel with dirty clothes so I got feminine wipes tampons I have extras of those here as well and here are my main items love this necessaire body serum it is really really good it's unscented and it has hyaluronic acid in it you can't beat that very hydrating for the body so love using this this is new but kinko I got this in the Sephora Squad PR so I have this as a deodorant I'll link things below too if you're interested love this Brazilian bum bum cream this to me speaks all of the languages of a vacation. You need this for a vacation, period. I also have a Laneige lip sleeping mask, absolutely a must, right? Need one of these everywhere I go. Some bo extra body washes in here, but I'll show you that I have an actual big one, but these containers are from Amazon and I just wrote on them so I know what is what. I got extra, oops, <laughs> I have extra deodorant. I wear men's deodorant usually because I need that extra protection, okay? I don't have children's armpits. <laughs> Okay, I don't have no ones for kids. Contact solution, room spray, love these. I have a few of these from Bath & Body. Absolutely love these. If you know me, I have a very, very strong sense of smell. I need things to always smell good, be it my room, my body. I just love things to smell very, very good. I do have this travel version of, what's this? Oh, this is the soul. This is the, actually the fragrance of this lotion. So, hey, can't ever have too much fragrance. Okay, and some eye, eye drops in there in case my eyes get itchy. That is what is in here, and this thing is so old school i got this from like walmart ages ago okay i got these rain jackets because we went to we went to disney world we got rain on and i was like never again i'm gonna put this one aside i have a kitty version and one from me this is the kid one so let me put that aside for now this is my pajama 
I'm taking one pajama because honestly, I don't like to have, again, too much stuff because you'll see my suitcase is full, okay? I got this pajama from Amazon. It's so cute. It's just a white, soft type material. I got it oversized because I like to be free when I sleep. I don't need things yoking me up, you know what I'm saying? So I got this in a double XL. Here's the adult version of the <laughs> rain jacket. So I am gonna take this. I also have these water shoes because I don't like putting my feet barefoot on things, especially around the pool or in the water. I got these also from Amazon. They feel like socks, very lightweight, foldable, just really awesome and comfy. And then I got these purse things. Remember these from back in the day? You used to be in a club. And then when you walk into your car, your feet are mad. Like <laughs> they're barking like a dog. I refuse to have my dogs barking. Okay, on vacation. So I bought these. They ain't cute, but you know what? They roll up and I can put them on my feet <laughs> when my feet are hurting me. And the evening time, we go to dinner and stuff. So I got these Amazon. They're called Silky Toes. Girl, I can't even deal. But we ain't gonna have barking dogs. I'll tell you that. Right now for swimsuits. This That's what I'm gonna put in this bag right here. Swimsuits. I have these from Shein. You'll see them on me. I'll link them below for you to see. This is a two-piece. Here's a cover-up, which actually goes with all of these items. So this is a waist cover-up. This says Island Vibes. It's a one-piece. This is a two-piece as well, all size 1X, which is 14. I have not tried them on, but I do believe that they're gonna fit, and we're gonna just go with it. I hate trying things on. It's gonna be what it is. So there goes that, nice and snug. Oh, I didn't show you. This is from Allie Glines, love it. She's also influencer, content creator. She sent these to me. This is the one I keep in here for my hair stuff slash nails. So this right here is an emergency nail kit. It has nails, glue, all of that in here. There's a hair towel, a head scarf, wrapping paper, all my usual. The conditioner, leave-in conditioner, got to be hair scrunchies. And I keep this in here as an all-purpose container for no matter what. So that's my hair stuff. Even though I have my hair braided, I still need to have my hair products because, you know, whatever. Okay, I am going to be working out. So my workout stuff, I'm going to put in this small thing right here, which is fine. Let me roll it up. I got these from Amazon. Love them. I got like different colors, nice light colors for the summertime. Love these. I have them in several colors already. Love how it has these tight pockets. These do not roll up on me or roll down. They're very good. I get them in an XL. Love these a lot. And then I just got these new ones. They have padding in them and they go like this, almost like a tank a little bit. I mean, I suppose these two would go together. You know, I'm bringing my laundry detergent. So, you know that I'm going to be washing this stuff. My goal is to work out every day. My goal in life is to work out every day. Even if it's a light walk, like I need to be doing something, you know? So these are my two workout outfits right in here. And it fits nice and snug. Now, I do have this pouch, so when I walk downstairs to go to the gym, I can just throw my stuff in my Nike pouch. So I'm just gonna shove this on the side, and then I'm gonna take my Nike sneakers, and these are gonna just go on the side also. I take with me my <laughs> steamer because I wanna steam my clothes. It's empty, I love it, because you put the water right inside here. This thing is powerful. Amazon, it works very well. I'm gonna see how much my stuff weighs with the steamer, but I am concerned because the suitcase is heavy. Ideally, this would, would zip close, but... <laughs> I want you to comment below and let me know if you pack <laughs> like me or not. <laughs> or if you're gonna start packing like me now as a result. <laughs> Maybe throwing your suitcases and stuff, I can't deal with that. It'd be raining on your suitcases, I can't deal with that either. So this right here is perfecto. I'm about to weigh my suitcase with this that I got from Amazon to make sure that I am not over 50 pounds. Wow, okay, I'm at 48 pounds, wow. All right, now here, all right, now here we have my carry-on luggage. It's the same as the other one. Again, we have this amazing Allie Glines. Just uh, her whole like luggage set situation. I don't know how to say it correctly. It's just amazing. This is the biggest version of it. So I have my travel fragrances up here. I've got some face masks and some other eye masks here. These are my daytime face products. And you'll see all of this when I actually do my face when I'm abroad. But I've got my mist. You know I have to have my Shashido SPF. That's a must. You got my Laneige again. Vitamin C, some cream, and some eye cream. Then for the evening time, I have my Pons Night Cream, the Rejuvenesce Retinol Serum. I've got Curology. So I have another Curology, which is in here. This has got my acne treatment in it. I also have my 
hyaluronic acid, very important. And then I got LMS facial oil to put on top, love that. So these are Dr. Jenna's Gross Exfoliation. This is a facial cleanser. I LMS, I have this really cute travel collagen pro cleansing balm. So I like to use this to wash off the makeup at night and then do my nighttime routine. So there's that, these are all, this, is, this goes with me on the airplane because I've had too many situations where my makeup gets smashed, things, powders bursting, I don't do that. So these are all able to go on the airplane. So I don't want you to ever think that you can't take this many of these liquids. You can definitely do that. I've done this to go to Rhode Island. I've done this to go to Jamaica and it's coming with me next week as well. So here's my nighttime stuff, daytime stuff. I don't zip it because I'm going to zip that. And then here's my makeup. You'll see me do looks with this, but honestly and truly, I'm going to do a basic look every day. I have some red lip options, a pink lip option. A ba what, let's see. I have this Lawless eyeshadow palette. It's a nude eyeshadow palette. Really cute. You know, I haven't used that yet actually, but what is this? My Fenty Pro Filter powder is in here. Eyelashes, you know, the usual. So got all that. This stays in here. I never take it out. This is just for travel. And then I'm taking this Liquid IV Energy Multiplier to add to my water for extra hydration. It's all squished, but it goes right here. These are good because sometimes I don't get the makeup off of my eyes. So eyeliner, I use it for that, but not for my whole entire face. Face wipes for the whole entire face is a no. And sometimes I put my makeup back here so this will help me get all of that off. Fenty should be here very soon, but I also wanted to take this with me because there's seven of us girls, so others may want to illuminize themselves. <laughs> so Denissa Myrick's Illuminating Veil, taking this. This is right here. And then this I got from Walmart, the container itself. I have my brushes in here. So I have my Amazon brush set in here that you've seen me do a video on. And then one or two other brushes that are in here as well. In here you have my leopard face masks, wet one wipes, Vitamin C, these are Tylenol pills because I begin headaches sometimes. Hand lotion, room spray, Pepto Bismol. I also have Dramamine right here. I'll go through that in a second because I get seasick. This is my tech bag. <laughs> Listen, I'm that person. I'm the person you travel with. I'm gonna have everything you need and more. I learned it from my mom. That's just how I am and I love to be this way. It makes me very happy. So this is my bag smart. In here I've got, what, this random extra charger. Although I do have these extra chargers. I have three extra. I don't need all of these, do I? I'm gonna take them anyway. You know, cause you be needing chargers. This is my iWatch charger, an extra charger with a, with a what you call it. Ooh, an extra camera battery. This charges my earpieces and this is just another random charger girl you'd be needing chargers i'm not gonna be the one with no charger never that's never gonna be me you know and then i have a ring light this is the same ring light that i have in my actual bathroom so here's that my medicine is in here i got a portable speaker right here that i bought it's really loud supposedly and this is my most recent purchase from amazon love these this is a portable charger i love this because it comes with the lightning bolt charger for the iphone the usb c for earpieces and the other one for like regular things so there are three different ones in here and then this charges right into the wall can you imagine you need this and this i also have so you can plug in multiple things to charge at the same time it's not like oh you have a wall outlet plug no also amazon plug this into the wall usb charger at your service extra sunglasses my laptop does go in here but i'm still using it so that's not going to go in here right now this tag in case you're wondering shutterfly could you imagine i'm carrying three things i know that's just me okay this is from target like love this really big really spacious obviously my wallet will go in here at some point but i'm going to use this for miscellaneous items the sigma bag that i just have in this sigma bag i'm putting this rare beauty mirror why not deodorant need that like very important my seasick pills because i get seasick and we're gonna be on a yacht i cannot afford to not have fun because i'm sick i got some sunglasses that i got from amazon these are so cute like what mad cute mad cute mad cute i am that person so i have extra tissue because i don't know you just need tissue for things my bag here we go i also am gonna start this book on the plane in my free time whatever here we go also gonna put inside here my mask these are individually packaged i have a lot more in my suitcase but this is going to be in my actual bag water bottle definitely a must from papaya they gave this to me love it extra one of those portable chargers so it, i bought two of these so one of them's going to go in here then i have my straws that i showed you in my last vlog my week five or is it six i don't know one of my old my older vlogs i have my reusable straws and it has the brush in here to clean these 
So I'm taking my straws with me so that if I go places and they have no straws, I have my own. I have hand wipes. It's one thing to sanitize, but an entirely different thing to actually clean your hands off. So these are important. Socks for the TSA checkout, check-in, whatever. I hate being barefoot, so these are going here. Portable fan, a must. Oh my God, I'm glad I charged this. It needs to be charged. I'm gonna charge this, <laughs> but it's chargeable. Bless the Lord. And this is my selfie stick. Very importante, all <laughs> right? So here's that. And I have some low-carb, delicious snacks. Baby, one time, one time. Passing the prize.